You have a good night, kiddo. Good night. Give me a high five. Yay! Bye. 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 Another one for the road, Benji? Uh, nah, I shouldn't. I'm gonna need to sleep at some point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have been taking photographs of this building for days now. How's that project coming along? It's going all right, yeah. A lot of interesting history and hidden secrets here in Colm. Especially in these old buildings. Yeah, I think that's why the journal sent me out here. Hopefully you don't uncover some. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting. Finding the history in the forgotten. A good title. I need to steal it. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> okay, so you're a scholar of sorts, and you're finding the mysteries of the past. I have to ask, do you have a fedora and a whip? I'm gonna need to plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> But I've taken up enough of your time. I'm going to get out of your hair. Really appreciate you letting me just hang out and absorb this place. Of course. Don't mention it. It's great having someone here during the slow times, you know, to bullshit with. Well, it is what I do best. <laughs> Have a good night, Steve. Good night, Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> This looks bad. You're damn right it does. Tell me what's going on or I'm calling the cops. Can we like, walk and talk? <sighs> oh. Oh. <coughs> what was that? Taekwondo. <sighs> that was just a taste. Now talk. Okay. <laughs> First off, my name's Benjamin. Uh-huh. Colton. As in Colton City, Colton? Yeah, that's right. One of the last remaining family members. And this whole research assignment? 
Well, I hired someone a month ago to help me look into the reclaiming the property rights for the Leviana Hills, which was stolen from my family decades ago by the... The Levianas. <gasps> right. Well, anyway, this guy David bailed on me, so now I'm following my own lead. <laughs> yeah, but what does that have to do with you hanging out at my store for days and sneaking in after hours? You see, before it got torn down, this storefront used to be connected to a bank. The weird thing is the vault for said bank was across the street in a basement. Yeah, all the buildings across the street had these basements that were all interconnected, allowing for discrete transportation, which was great during Prohibition. <laughs> Fascinating. Right? Yeah. So everybody knew about the vault, now, my family, we had all of our property deeds in that vault. And when the bank closed and the vault was decommissioned, they were gone, along with a bunch of other documents and valuables. Now, after years of research, I have a theory that that vault was a decoy, and the true vault is in this building in the basement. <laughs> but this building doesn't have a basement. <laughs> exactly, but I think there is. It's just been hidden away for years. Why didn't you tell me all this in the first place? Well, one thing you learn from decades of deceit and disappointment is to be careful who you trust, no matter how kind they are. Sorry. Oh. No worries. I, I totally get it. So, what now? Well, the side the bank was originally connected to is clear. And this side's clear, so... I think our best bet's somewhere in the back. Do you think he's been in here? I, I, I don't know. His clothes don't look that. Give me your phone. We gotta call the police. Benji, you're right. We gotta know who to trust. Looks like David didn't bail on you after all. What? <gasps> Let me honest, say, come on. No! <laughs> 